for myself, I've always wanted to not be in the center of things. And so I, I like to invite friends in to like make different kinds of distraction from the center. Where was I? Oh, I'm dead. I'm a ghost. So. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Well, the, the relational work <laughs> that I think I'm doing is kind of about, yeah, letting people enter uh, in a different way into the experiences they would have with the idea of art. When the activity or the platform looks like something familiar, it's a lot easier to enter into it. Now, once you've entered into it and then you realize you're in the context of art, the question would be like, then what, what is it, you know? How is it art? But it's also kind of like about, um, you know, walking out of the museum after playing ping pong or hanging out at the bar and then suddenly realizing, oh, but I don't know if that was actually what I thought it was. Let's say a person who comes regularly to the museum would probably realize that, oh, this doesn't, you know, this is a bit out of place, right? Um, I must say the Haus der Kunst, it doesn't seem to be very out of place because everything seems to be in a way kind of uh, active. Carl? I mean, the museum is kind of, it, it for fo focusing and, and, and paying attention and there's kind of do not touch signs and you need to be quiet. So that's all good and that's actually necessary I think in this time where, where uh, a lot of things are rushed with little attention but then you also need to loosen that up somehow so you end up in some kind of in-between space where you could sort of can touch and you can sort of speak but uh, you, you're still focusing Hopefully I'm good friends with Carl and Mai and Florian and, you know, any number of people who I, I you know, collaborate with. I mean, it's, not, it's, not, it's more like a family. But yeah, it's also somehow an invitation for visitors and anyone. I mean, it kind of opening up the whole one person exhibition situation and then the idea of, of one person being in charge, that there's different elements and, and everyone is somehow joining in one yeah. capacity or another. Yeah, and I think that uh, comes to this kind of decentered thing, uh, which, I mean, in itself, the way it's uh, kind of laid out, but also for myself, I've always wanted to not be in the center of things, and so I, I like to invite friends in to like make different kinds of distraction from the center. So, <laughs> is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are use objects that have been isolated or in a sense, you know, removed from its context and put into a museum. I mean, I'm trying to like turn it upside down back again, right? So I would describe it like taking Duchamp's urinal, putting it back on the wall, and pissing into it. Tea ceremony is making ceremonial again, something as simple as pouring a cup of tea and, and uh, offering it to your, to your visitor. And um, in a sense, it brings the kind of ceremonial back also to something like um, it getting served a beer in a, in a bar from 1993 and thinking about this as a kind of ritual of, of exchange rather than just a way to get yourself uh, uh, drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think the tea ceremony in the opera set is kind of, yeah, turning the opera set into another function. When we were preparing the setting for the opera and uh, also like the question came like could we, you know, uh, of course activate 
or use that space when it's not being used, you know? And I think uh, that was like really, I mean, I think Emma's idea to ask that, right? And so, uh, of course, immediately I, I said, yeah, of course we can do this. In Hanyo, I think it all comes down to desire. Uh, you know, because in the desire, there's always a kind of, I mean, there are like fluctuations of time and space and there's fulfillment or there's loss, you know, and, uh, and maybe there's even like madness, right? So that's kind of like my reading of it. I would say it's about language, no? Hmm. There's moments when they are shifting from the opera to actually talk singing, which is actually something that's very hard to do. And yeah, the kind of key slogans also appearing as, yeah. as texts on light boxes. And, but I, I feel like, of course, the language is quite important in this, I mean, because it's Mishima. And uh, so it's almost like taking the whole play and, and making it into a poetry. Right? It's very poetic when you start to isolate certain ideas of it. So I think that that was really uh, what I was interested in. It's good. I like to be on the edge of the Instagram frame anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Decentering. Decentered. <laughs>